Hey. Hey everybody, it's me, Tired Mama, AKA Teacher Sam. And I wanted to talk today a little bit. I got more information about the new regulations with teachers teaching English as a second language in China. And uh, we need to talk about it. So first of all, I wanna say I'm ready for the holiday season. Christmas tree's up. I won't lie, I really don't decorate a whole lot. We do the Christmas tree, and I've got like, I love Santas. Like I have probably 50 Santas just sitting around that we have collected. My daughter and I like to catch them at like thrift stores and stuff. And um, that's really all we do. This is the oldest one I have. This is um, 1904 in Austria. This we got it as an antique, actually at an estate sale. Um, so, but that's just a little bit about me. I hope the noise doesn't bother me. Bother you. Uh, I do have the doors open today because it's 65 degrees in Alabama in December. I've got one neighbor cutting grass or killing their grass. And I live kind of close to the road, so I hope you can't hear too much of that. But, so let's talk about what the new year is going to bring for ESL teachers. I can say for Palfish, uh, I have spoken directly with administrators. As of January, you have to have a TESOL. Okay, a TESOL is going to be a hundred and twenty-four. Um, sorry, a hundred and twenty-hour course. Uh, it has ten modules. Most of the time, there is homework, and it's not something you can do in a weekend. For the most part, you're going to have to put some work into this. Now. I'm honestly shocked that this wasn't a requirement beforehand. In the United States, we require a teaching certificate if you're going to be in any kind of classroom. So this shouldn't shock us at all. Like we should have expected this. Guys, this is completely doable. And unfortunately, I see teachers who are walking away from a great career because they don't want to take a little class. And um, on that note, let's talk about why we do this. <clears throat> this is not a job to me, to me. This is this is not a job that you do just to earn Christmas money. Like this is my full-time job. I'm an ESL teacher. This is what I do to support my family. So, it's important that you take time and you know what you're expecting out of this job to find out if taking this class to keep your job is an investment. To me it is. To me it wholly is. Now, I already have my Tesla. So I'm not super, super worried about it because I already have my Tesla and I have a TEFL and mine's actually a 168 hour course. And So if you already have that, just upload it to your profile. That's all you have to do. However, I was uh, given the confirmed information yesterday that if you do not have it uploaded in your profile in January, you will be considered inactive on the Palfish platform. Guys, don't do this to yourself. There are some great deals out there. Um, I'm gonna put one deal in my link below that was given to me through International Open Institute. They have a certified TESOL course. Uh, normally it's $449. They have it for $119. Um, if you're an established teacher within a program already running in China. So I'll put that link below if you want to sign up for that. Um, it's the same one that I have. Um, beyond that, I hope that you're all having a great day. I hope that uh, the weather is treating you nicely. I would love to hear what kind of plans you're making for Christmas. I know that Palfish has offered double points, the 24th and 25th if you work those two days, um, 10 points and 20 points for certain hours. I'm going to get to cash in on that because my kids are 13 and 18 and we have to pry them out of bed at 10 a.m. so we can get gifts and stuff done by lunch um, because they're teenagers. I don't have little ones at home. If you have little ones at home, it's completely understandable that you're not going to be able to teach. But for those of us who are, that's a nice little incentive. Okay. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or things you'd like to know about Palfish, comment below and let me know. I'd love to talk to you. 
Um, my referral link is down there. You're also going to make sure, going to want to make sure that you like, subscribe, uh, do the little dingy dingy bell so you get notified. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Tired Mama. Um, you're going to want to follow this because December, I'm doing 31 days of learning. So every single day in December, there will be a teaching video posted that is about how to be a better teacher. Um, maybe about the public education system, the private education system, common core learning. Uh, ESL teaching, better TPR, more classroom management, classroom engagement, parent engagement. Guys, we got lots of stuff coming up. I hope you subscribe and I hope that you send me a message. Better yet, send me a picture of your Christmas tree. Tweet me, tag me, Instagram me, Facebook me. You'll find me. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time.